Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to travel abroad, whether it was for school, work, or just vacation. So when I was presented with the opportunity, I was like, you know what, just go ahead. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. The opportunity arised in the spring. I said, oh, I have to go. Uh, and it seemed affordable to me, 6000 I believe. I said, oh, well, I think I can raise that up in time. I went to Barcelona, Spain. The curriculum that I was with in Spanish, I took a Spanish class and an art class. I went to study abroad in Italy, Rome, Italy. Uh, it was, it was kind of scary at first because I'd never been out of the country. So I chose Rome just because they offered more like art classes. We talked about like art. We actually went to like churches and art museums. So I feel like I felt more like in touch with like being actual with art, discussing it in person. It's a very like more like personal experience with the art, which I really love. When you get to ex uh, experience it in person, it's a completely different aspect of learning and actually walking through it, not just reading about it in a book, but actually seeing the monument in person. Uh, I am thankful that UNT Dallas presented me with the opportunity to even do a study abroad program because for a while it wasn't even in my mind because at my previous university I wasn't presented with the opportunity so I am beyond thankful for that. I would also say that academically the classes were good. It also depends on which level you're on but I would definitely say that the classes that were offered there were helpful and the professors too both at UNT Dallas and at the university that we attended in Barcelona were great. They were very helpful, very attentive. Don't view study abroad as a vacation. Don't just view it as, oh, I'm gonna go and have fun and party and this and that because uh, it's, I don't believe that's what it's for. I think it's meant for you to mature and see how it is in the real world because as an adult, you're gonna have to do all these things on your own and learn to network with people and reach out and form relationships with people to be able to survive not only in the academic aspect but at home because you're also living in a dorm with seven other strangers and cohabiting and getting along with people that you otherwise probably wouldn't ever speak to or live with in your life. I would recommend to study abroad to anyone just because it gives you kind of a new sense. You're being brought to a different country where you don't know anything. You don't know, you may know the language but you may not. It's just like, you're going to be there, you need to kind of like, you gain independence in yourself. You're by yourself, you don't have family, you don't have friends, you have to like meet people, you have to be open. I would say it changed me because it made me more eager to go back. Not only go back to Spain, but to travel abroad to other countries. It also made me want to work harder to accomplish what I want to do, because I want to teach overseas and I wanted to teach in Spain specifically. So I've definitely said it pushed me to work harder and to become more eager in my studies. I was taking pictures and I was walking around looking for a meal and I don't know where I ended up like walking into the Vatican without thinking about it. Like the Pope was there too. So he was kind of like greeting everyone. It was like, oh, who would have thought I would see the Pope today on like 12 of the afternoon?